is there to say about a life unlived? A life seized. A child torn from his mother. Held captive for crimes uncommitted. What does it take to repair a wounded soul? Eyes that have been scorned. A brain that has been engraved. The pain is real. And these sleepless nights do exist. I was 16 the day my life changed for the worst. 16 when I became a product of the penal system. 16 when I was wrongfully accused of rape. 16 when the courts tried me as an adult. My final day of freedom, I was 16. I left behind my mother, a beautiful mother of three, my football team, and a childhood dream. Shackled, caged, and alone, I was judged. I was a day into 18 when I first stepped foot in prison. A world of darkness and violence, pain and loneliness. I'd often ask, how did I get here? I'd often ask, is there a way out? I'd often think, man, I just want to go home. I was 22 when I first saw freedom again. I had spent five years and two months locked away. My days now monitor a GPS tracking device strapped to my ankle. And I'm expected to find work and live a normal life. I'm also expected not to live within 2,000 feet of any school or park and register as a sex offender. This is my life, until now. My name is Brian Banks, and I was wrongfully accused of a crime I didn't commit. Ten years later, after serving time in prison and on parole, I've been given a second chance at life. With my accuser coming forward, revealing the truth about what really happened that day, a glimpse of light shined over me. My passport out of hell. I've struggled, I've feared, I've cried, I've persevered. With blood, sweat, and tears, I survived. And with the help of some beautiful people, I fought and won. This is my story. I want the truth to be told for all those who ever wondered or never knew. Telling this story is my life, an honest version. So I'm asking you to help me tell my story. <laughs>